Hey everyone, my name is Adi. In this video, we will talk about how to paint fabric with oil colors. Take your time and think about the colors that you are going to use. It's better to organize all the colors on the palette in advance and not to stop in the middle of the process to mix or search for the right color. Fabric is a very complicated thing to paint, so when looking at the fabric, divide what you see into geometrical shapes. Divide it into bigger shapes first and then into smaller shapes. I work on a small section every time. I start with placing the contour, the lines that surround the shapes, and then fill in it. I don't go over everything with the same color. I apply the color just to the area with the same color. So I create patches of different shades. I use a different brush for each shade of color. And I use different brushes for blending the edges of the patches, the different areas of color. Wipe off the blending brushes after every time that you blend, so they will not carry the color inside them. The shadow in the left side of the folds looked more red to me than the other shadows. I usually start with the background and paint all the board in the color of the background. But because the color of the fabric is dark, I started with covering everything with gray. Because it's difficult to go with light colors over dark colors. When painting with oil colors, you need to plan ahead the next stages. I knew that there is going to be white in the glass. Even if you choose a white that is considered to be less transparent, it might still take few layers of white to completely cover a dark color. After I let the gray dry, I made a plan with white. I marked to myself where the objects will be. In oil colors, when you place a color over another wet color, they will blend the more you touch the area. So it's better to add paint over a dry area. This way only the colors that you placed beside one another can blend, which allow you more control. The lines of the wrinkles are very thin. The fabric itself is thin. Each line is made from a light line and a dark line. Use double zero brush for the fine lines and dip only the tip of the brush. The folds of the fabric have volume. They are three-dimensional. Fabric is one of the subjects that takes long time to paint. If you worry that the paint on your palette will dry before you can finish, then you can close your palette with a bag and put it in your fridge or in a cooler picnic box with ice. The amount of paint you put can also affect how long until it will dry. So if you put a lot of color and organize it in a way that it will be a tall hill rather than a flat hill, it will take longer to dry. It is very tricky to achieve a smooth transition between all the different shades while adding details. 
so sometimes it can be easier to let the paint dry completely and to add details or make changes afterwards. If there is an embroidery on the fabric, it will be easier to make a foundation, a base layer. First, place the shapes of the folds and the locations of the light and shadow, and later on add a layer of detail. When you want to connect an area that dried to a new wet area, you will have to go over parts of the dry area with new color. So when I created the class, I had to go over the fabric around the class with a new color. This way I could blend the edges of the glass, make a nicer transition between the fabric and the glass. Thanks to the fact that I already placed where the objects will be, I can create the shadow that they cast before I make the objects. The shadow is darker the closer it is to the object. The button holder have holes in it. It creates an interesting shadow. In some areas the light penetrates and creates spots of light. I made it more red in the shadow of the glass. The red color is projected into the fabric. Drawing clothing on people is more difficult because the direction of the folds, the sizes and the shapes of them show us the shape of the body. As a viewer, you can tell how the arm looks like without even seeing it. So a good painting of a sleeve should let you feel the arm underneath the fabric. So when painting clothing, it's more important to be accurate. In fold, it is darker the deeper it is, and gradually become lighter the higher it becomes. showed you part of the process because I didn't want the video to be too long. Painting fabric is difficult so don't be too hard on yourself and be patient. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.